Hello, boys and girls, it's Miss Dan. It's so good to be with you today. Today we're talking about predators and prey. And maybe you've already talked about that at school, but we're gonna um, learn how that relates to our Christian life. First, let me read you a Bible verse. Stay alert, watch out for the great enemy, the devil. He, he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5, 8. Well, you probably heard about predator and prey at school, but let me give you a little reminder lesson. Predators are animals that hunt and eat other animals, and prey is the animal that gets eaten. So you don't want to be the prey because you're going to get eaten. Uh, some predators might be a lion or a grizzly bear, did you know that ladybugs are also predators? They eat other bugs. And that sweet little bird on your um, bird feeder, it, see, it eats worms and insects. So they're predators too. Just as predators come in all sizes and shapes, they have different hunting methods. Uh, hawks chase down their predators. Wolves stalk their prey and then sneak up on it. Some predators, like alligators, ambush their prey, which means they hide and they wait until the predators wanders close enough to, to be snatched, to survive. It's important for animals to always stay alert. Did you know it's important for you to stay alert too? That's because a predator is hunting you. Do you know his name? His name is Satan. And you know what? Satan is real. Our world doesn't talk about Satan, but God sure does. God talks about Satan a lot. And he prowls like a roaring lion waiting to stalk you. But you know what? We have the answer. We don't have to worry about Satan. The only thing we have to do is stay close to Jesus because Jesus is so much bigger than Satan. So we don't have to worry about it. But what we do have to do is stay alert. And let me tell you some ways that we can stay alert. We can uh, talk to God every day. We can praise him every day and say thank you for all the great things that he's done for us. And we can study the Bible every day. And if you can't read, you ask your mom or dad to read you a Bible story every day. And if you can read, make sure you're reading the Bible every day. Because if we're staying close to God, Satan can't get us. Um, because remember, Jesus is much more powerful than God. As I always told my children, you plus God is way bigger than any problem you could ever have. There's nothing that so big that you and God can't uh, conquer it together. We don't know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. God, again, is always able to protect us from Satan. But I want you to know today that Satan is very, very real. I'm going to tell you about a predator you may not know about. This is pretty cool. It's about a chameleon. A chameleon um, has a unique way of trapping its prey. Bears have claws, sharks have teeth, um, spiders have poison, and a chameleon has its tongue. So anyway, it's seven inches long. It's pretty long. Seven inches long, and it's covered with this sticky, gluey substance. And um, when it wants to eat something, it just sticks out its tongue and <laughs> slurps them in. We're not chameleons, so that's not going to work. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm in the process of now of trying to get you all to join me at, at Sunday school on Sunday mornings. Hopefully in a couple weeks we can uh, have a, t a Sunday school teacher um, for your parents. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you um, back at church as the summer progresses. And I know we have several families coming tomorrow. Let's just pray now. And I just pray that God would keep you safe during the summer and that he would you would just enjoy uh, your time away from school.
Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for these boys and girls. Thank you for um, parents uh, that love them and care for them. Thank you for all those boys and girls that are tuning in each week. Father, I just pray that you would uh, keep them away from uh, Satan, that they would stay close to you by praising you, by thanking you, um, by reading your word daily. Father, thank you that we all have access uh, to a Bible and to Christian stories. And thank you for the blessing that you are. Thank you that you are, are protect us from the evil one, that we don't have to worry if we belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, boys and girls. I love you.